Hi, my Scorpio friends. And I know there's a lot of you out there. So I am thinking of each one of you as I'm doing this reading. This is the Love and Life Forecast for June 2019. I'm going to go ahead and get started in shuffling. Ah, June. We are just now starting to enter June. The date of this reading is June 1st. And uh, before we get started, I just want to thank those of you who do watch my videos, comment, like, share. I totally appreciate that. Um, if you've never seen a reading of mine before, I say welcome. Thank you so much. And if you find that you resonate with my readings, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I tend to do readings that are based on catalytic heart awakening and the ascension process, the ascension path. And um, yeah, so that's a little bit about what I do. Um, two things I want to let you guys know about is number one, uh, I, have, I have been invited to a Twin Flame workshop that's being held by Marla Kelly in Niagara Falls, so I'm very excited about that. If you've been wanting to go to one of the Twin Flame workshops, that might be just the place to go. Uh, it's, oh, I just absolutely love it up there, and it's only about an hour and a half away from where I grew up, so I like to go and spend time there when I go up to see Marla. Um, so that's one thing. And the other thing that I want to tell you about is if you haven't seen, I'm uh, probably next week or within the next two weeks, I'm going to be doing a live reading on YouTube. So if you're interested in being, um, <clears throat> being considered for that, I'm going to do a drawing, and all you need to do is like this video, Go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Share it, share this video, any of my videos actually. Um, share one of my videos to social media and or to a friend that you think would resonate with it and then comment below this video just saying that you did all those things and um, then you'll be entered. Uh, I do ask that you send me an email. That way I know how to get a hold of you when it is time for me to say I'm doing the reading and if you know, you're know you interested in participating. So that, uh, that email address is vibrationsoflove1111 at gmail.com. So that's all you need to do. And at, during that reading, I'm going to be um, doing, I'm going to be giving away the Intuit Oracle, which is my go-to deck. It is the only deck I'm using right now. I mean, every once in a while, I'll pull some other cards just to spice it up, but this is the, the deck I prefer, so that's what I'm using. All righty then, so let's get started. Um, Scorpios, let's take a look at what is the overall energy for Scorpios this month of June. All right. Okay. Okay, we've got the child is the first card. <laughs> We've got geese. And we have the stalemate. Okay, now it's interesting because the stalemate came up <clears throat> in another reading today that I've done. And the thing that jumped out is refuse to compromise. And in a sense, that's the way I feel about this card too. But let's, let's look at all the cards together. <clears throat> okay, well, you're definitely, you're definitely on a quest to accomplish something. Okay, you're definitely navigating, um, I want to say, a bunch of different things to get to where you're going. All right? So you're on the move. You are moving towards some kind of quest that you are on, okay? And um, you're being asked to bring some of the childlikeness to that quest, okay? Use your creativity. Use your spontaneity. Go at what you're doing with a little bit more of a carefree um, perspective, all right, so you may be on a quest, and that quest is very important to you, all right? And you may be navigating some uh, choppy, choppy air, you know, if you're a geese and you're flying, you might hit some turbulence, but you're being asked to look at it from the child's perspective, the brand new perspective. Try not to get stuck in, you know, the way it's always been done, 
go into your creativity and um, you will find a better way forward. Um, in this particular case, let me just tune into the energies of the stalemate. There is a bit of blocking that's going on. Okay. It may be because you're refusing to compromise on something, and that's not necessarily wrong. In fact, I get very strongly that you should not compromise on what it is you're trying to achieve, or where you're going, or what you're trying to do, all right? You are actually holding out for a higher perspective. So in this particular case, I just really think that you need to keep that in mind it does seem like you may be blocked, but that isn't necessarily the case. Um, you are just navigating through things, okay? You, you have some navigation uh, skill that you're having to, um, you're having to use or hone is what I'm getting, all right? And it may be like things come, come round. This is a cyclical geese return year after year after year to the same places. So you may be in a process where you're having to revisit old stuff. And that is where this uh, stalemate comes from. You know, it may feel like there's no way out, but there definitely is a way out. It's just it's it's bringing forth that feeling because on this quest, you are having to hone some navigational skills and things will be coming back again and again. And that the word dependable is like you can count on it. You know, is what I'm, what I'm hearing. You can count on it. But here I feel is a very strong message as to how you do this. You know, stay in your creativity. Stay in your spontaneity. What does a child do? A child does not control things. A child lets things happen. They, now, I don't want to say that all the time. I mean, kids can say, oh, I want this, I want that, and they try to control that. But overall, kids, when they're very young, um, you know, are in a much more spontaneous uh, spot than we are as adults. And so that is a way forward to navigate um, some of that, that standstill energy, if you have that going on. Now we're going to look at the love relationship. What do you need to know about your love relationship for the month of June? And this is for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we got here. Huh. I just got this for Sagittarius too, the Archer. There you go, Archer. I happen to be a Sagittarius, so I love the Archer card. So we got Archer card, which is about taking careful aim. We got the raccoon, which is about problem solving. And, um, hmm. And we got the lily. All right. All right. In terms of your love, love your love, your love relationship, um, you may be asked to solve some problems. You're very, you're very clever at doing that, okay? Um, also, the word jumps out at me, adaptable. In your connection right now, you're being very adaptable. It's kind of like no matter what happens, you're in this state of adaption. You can just easily solve any problems and um, stay fluid, stay in a creative space in terms of how you're feeling about this particular situation. And um, it's also saying that, you know, you want to take careful aim and this is your go-to guy or gal. So this month, you're, you're pretty much focused. You can be focused on it, but it's like you're adaptable to whatever happens. So let me see what else I'm getting. Well, I do believe that this is an established relationship, something you may have been dealing with for a long time. Um, you're dealing with it maybe from a little bit more of a mature standpoint than you ever have, okay? You're feeling a sense of achievement at where you've gotten um, the, the, I wanna say the catalytic heart awakening experience has made you much wiser and has made you more adaptable. 
You know, you can just adapt to whatever the situation is, whether you hear from them, whether you don't hear from them, everything feels really comfortable. That established card, that longevity um, achievement. But the biggest word that jumps out at this particular situation is mature. It's like, it's almost like you've really matured. And, uh, and that does involve that go-to guy, whether that's a guy or gal, whether that's the twin flame um, or the person that you've been focused on, right, aimed at for a long time. Um, you've really got the ability to, again, the word navigate comes to me, navigate that, that relationship really well because you have become so mature in relationships you become really mature i'm just going to ask if there's any more information that source wants to tell me about the relationship what about the relationship okay all right the first card is the hummingbird the second card is happy bouquet and i'll just take this one the third card is the garden Okay, so this is just a little bit of an extension I feel called to um, to read for Scorpio. All right, the overall energy is, is that with where you're at in that mature place, it's brought you a great deal of happiness. And that happiness emanates out from you and you feel very secure and sincere in how you're, um, how you're coming across. In other words, you're being very genuine. You're feeling very happy. And that is always a great thing when it comes to, you know, working towards relationships is, is actually being in that state. Um, you're being uh, present in your present moment. You're living in that. Sorry, these cards are tipping. You're living in um, the present moment. So you are... Listen, look at this, lifting out of negativity. You're actually in this space where you're kind of floating above it all. You're you have the lightness of being, this happiness. And that is what I'm getting with, that's why it's like anything comes up, you just know how to adapt. You know how to get past it because you're really resourceful. If something triggers you, you move past it really quick. So Scorpio, you've done a lot of work and I think you've gotten to a really good place. Um, now... The garden card, let me tune into that. Well, that's interesting. I'm not really picking up on a lot of energy with this card and how it fits, but it, just give me a minute. Okay. So in the space of happiness, it's like you feel at ease in your community, because what I want to say is, is I'm seeing you being very independent. Um, I see you just sort of going about your day and you actually, it's almost like you haven't had to devote as much energy to your relationship and it actually makes you more of a member of society and part of community. In other words, you may be talking to the grocery store clerk a little bit more or um, you know, having interesting conversations with people that you come across in your community. But that's because you're feeling quite happy and content inside yourself. All right, well, that's really good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put these two sets of cards up here. That was the second pair I pulled, and these were the first. All right, now we're gonna look at your career. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the career Creative expression is what I like to call it, which is why you came here, what you're here to do, um, and also those things that you do to help create abundance. So what has Source got to tell us about your career? Okay, the first card we get is a trophy. That's awesome. And the second card is the falcon. All right. And the third card our career in abundance is letter communication. This is, tends to be more formal communications. So when it comes to your work or when it comes to abundance, 
Um, it does seem that it's time to address some of your communications. Uh, maybe time to go through that inbox and figure out who you have to communicate with. This will be probably more in the form of formal um, communications. It's not quite so much about texting and talking on the phone as it is about tying up the um, contracts or establishing you know, whatever paperwork needs to happen in order to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish right now. Now, the Falcon is a central card in this three card spread and the Falcon represents your higher self. So your higher self is there overseeing the strategy of everything that you're trying to achieve. And kind of, you've got a victory here. And then guess what? You've got another victory card. So from an abundance and a career standpoint or creative expression, you've got a lot of really good energy here. And not only that, but it's very aligned with your higher purpose. Whatever you're focusing on is going to bring you success. Um, they're basically just telling you that you may have to focus on you know, the, the written communications that you got going on. Um, it also may mean that some news comes in. You may get some news or you may get some information that has to do with what you're trying to achieve. So this is communications. That's great, great energy for your career and for abundance. Love to see the victory card. Yeah, and that's your goals and achievements, and you're, you're totally thumbs up in that. This month, you've got a lot of good stuff going on. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look. Let me see here. We are now going to do, what does your higher self want you to know for the month of June? Okay, we came up with tradition, the church card. I always think of this as tradition. Um, ooh, the central card is, is the um, phoenix. Okay. And um, ah, I just want to come back to this. And we've got something developing over time. All right. So your higher self wants you to know Scorpios, that uh, this transformation process that you're going through um, is very, very prevalent in this month, okay? This is very prevalent. Um, let me see here. You're definitely, this transformation that you're going through is going to be um, something that you need to be aware of is happening to you in this month. And it does seem for a lot of you, because the church is here, that this has to do with your shift from the old way of being, the old traditional way of being, that you've been moving out of, that has been developing over time, okay? So you're working, this transformation is the good stuff. This transformation is um, you know, what, what you're leaving behind when you go, you know, it's, it's that legacy. So this is going to be key for you. Now it also indicates the catalytic heart awakening, having a complete renewal. So some of you, I'm looking here at the relationship, you know, I almost want to say that you have come really, really far in your transformation on the catalytic heart awakening, because you're when I look at the cards that we have, um, you've matured. You've matured so much on this path. And um, the transformation has been, whoops, <laughs> the transformation has been actually from this traditional way of being, the programmed way of being, and you know, we think of the tr traditional marriage, family values, all of those kinds of things, the dogma. And here you have been going through this transformation developing over time and actually getting to a really, really nice place of this established energy of maturity uh, when it comes to, you know, your overall being. So this month, you know, there might be some more transformation coming, but, you know, I'm getting the feeling that this is a really, really positive month. The only thing that you're the only thing that you're probably doing that might be a bit of a challenge, underneath it all, everything is, um, all the things that are happening are really good 
really good. The energy that you know you need to be conscious of from the from the higher perspective is that you are on a quest to do something and um you know that there might be some things that you have to work through you know to get there and the answer lies in allowing yourself to have the um the innocence of the child to bring you through it and that's you know this transformation card so this is the spirit spirits winding up right now basically saying hey be sure that you you know honor this renewal process that you're going through honor this complete renewal process that you're going through because you've been working on this over time and it is the good stuff it's the stuff that's going to stick with you it's going to stay with you all right it's going to age well <clears throat> so anyways that is my reading for scorpio thank you so much for listening um, I am putting out my weekly reading later today if I still have a voice. It's so funny. I've been finding my voice has been going. They need to take a vo vocal break. But yeah, I'm going to be putting out the weekly reading for uh, starting on June, you know, starts June 2nd. I'll put that out um, within the next day. Um, and thank you so much for listening. I hope you had uh, an enjoyable time listening. And I look forward to the next time I'm able to share a reading with you. Thank you and have a great day. Namaste.